I've to- I talk to Aussies, they think I'm Aussie. My name's Taryn. <laughs> yeah. I talk to Lebos, they think I'm Lebo. Yeah. My name's Taryn. <laughs> I talk to Indians, I talk an Indian, sweet. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're finessing everyone, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm struggling to. S- uh, can you do the Aussie thing situation? Like, what's bro? an Aussie accent? Like, like, how do you, how do you, no, bro. no, it's just like, hey, mate, how you going? You know what I mean? Okay. Like, sure. okay, okay. Yeah. No, so do you have like a good formal Aussie down? Like a formal English like one? Like cool Aussie no, come. no. Do you know what it is? They. Like. I don't do it with rich white Aussie people, bro. Sure. Okay, so I, you, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I do it with concrete, like they're rich, but they're Penrith rich. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. bro, the men's living in acreages and stuff. But, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Like, sorry to like go on a tangent, but like, I'm gonna say like these people out there, they live, they're you're just wearing high vis shirts, like yeah, trackies yeah. and stuff. Don't care, man, but like there's more in here than like you will see like, anywhere yeah. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? like like it's it's so different like the middle class tries to be the upper class and the upper class just doesn't give a shit because when you've made it you don't have anything to prove yeah 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 but like you shouldn't have anything to prove either anyway way. yeah but yeah. it's like keeping up with the jones you know what i mean yeah. people yeah. want to yeah. especially in like ethnic culture as well like anyone bro they want to they want to flex you know yeah. what i mean yeah. like i think we look down upon blue collar jobs in ethnic culture yeah like my parents in a restaurant and this is my gripe with a lot of people we used to go to a mosque and a lot of people didn't like, you know, we used to go to a mosque. My parents in a restaurant. So every time we used to hang, like go to a mosque, people didn't respect us as much. Not respect, like they would not acknowledge us. Because yeah. we used to stand behind a counter, even though we may make more money the, uh, yeah. the customers. Is that you just subconsciously thinking that? No, 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 that? no, no I yes. could notice that through my... I, I, I know they do it with the same with like taxi drivers. Yeah. yeah, to an extent. Yeah, I've so, noticed that. Uh, being a mo- like you know, my family just hanging out, out with our immediate family. These yeah. customers that are so nice to us yeah. in a restaurant. In the most, they wouldn't acknowledge us. Yeah. But then one time I was in city on a graduate salary. Yeah. You guys can guess how much. Yeah. Shitty pay would that be? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wearing a suit and yeah. like you know, people come and like you no, know, I know you from your restaurant. Yeah. But like, cause even the same people would just ignore me when I was yeah. in a different setting. Uh, can I say something, bro? Um, Go on. So we're obviously in the trade, like we're working in like manufacturing, construction. Yeah. We use a lot of welders, a lot of plumbers, a lot yeah. of electricians. So when I st- first started out at uni, it's like, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do electrical engineering, this, that. I didn't finish my degree, by yeah. the way, just letting you know. So like if any girls are out there and their moms are trying to get some rishtas and that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so stay away. No, I'm joking. Bro, <laughs> just put down your salary or like <laughs> <laughs> monthly earnings in front of them. It's like, no. compete uh, with that. Um, But look, I did electrical engineering and got into the business. And then my mom and my dad's mindset and my grandpa, it's like, yeah, go to uni, do this. Now my dad works like we work together. My little brother, he t- my, my dad is telling my little brother, do a trade, start your own business. Yeah. It's not like become a doctor, become an engineer anymore. Yeah. Because we realized in India, if you're like a, let's say you're like a plumber, bro, you're like scum there. Yeah. Like they don't yeah. give you any, but that skill in Australia is so needed. Yeah, like, There's a shortage like, that's electrician, they're needed. You know what I mean? Welders, they're needed. Yeah. Man, I'm getting invoiced like 100K by these guys. You know what I mean? Like in one month. Yeah. yeah. Just you do the math. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think we as brown people are mostly consumers rather than producers of content. Yeah. Even, yeah, everything. Like in our countries, we don't produce anything to sell to the world. Like we, I don't know. I think India is different. Like India, India is different. India, 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 I'm talking about Pakistan, bro. Everything yeah. we consume is foreign. Foreign. Like yeah. from a. Cl- Clothing industry, we think are proud of it. Um, m- machines come through J- Germany, Japan, whatever. Uh, Raw material through Egypt or whatever. Yeah. Like Nara's, like, I don't know how to pr- uh, like spell it uh, out in English. Yeah, Nara is just the like the elastic band. that you put in. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like Nala. we are very proud of like, you know, we make our own, but now nah, we actually get it from imported, like the raw material yeah. from China. Yeah. yeah like yeah. kites, kites are a big box or anything. Yeah. The nylon from it comes through China. Yeah. Like I don't, I struggle we to find We have nothing anything. happening in our country, but, bro. <laughs> no, but that's not bad. Like, um, how do Why? I explain this? Like, uh, as an economy, you need to be producing stuff, giving s- value to the universe. Like, no, but it'll cost you a lot more to set up, like, the manufacturing, the operations. No, no, no. And like, stuff. if you're, if you're, as an economist, speaking as an economist, oh, if you're, if you're just importing like crazy, you're heavily <laughs> relying on other countries to, you know, keep your oh, yeah, economy functioning. Yeah, yeah. If one thing goes down, if you have nothing to give to the rest of the world, like for example, tariffs against China and stuff like that. Yeah, screwed and then we're screwed. So Russia, that's the, the whole issue. oil thing. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're having a lovely conversation. I want to continue, but I want to introduce this to you as well. <laughs> <laughs> We've kind of like gone six minutes into it. No, so right. Taran is here. Taran, how you doing, bro? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Why Thanks. did you ask six minutes and how you doing? You should do a better, like now nah, we should do a better introduction. Uh, why did you just leave it on me? There's three <laughs> hosts on the podcast for a reason. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, but yeah, thank you for coming on. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. thank you for coming on. Like, I've I've been with you for like say like twenty thirty minutes. Yeah. And I or like you're a Swiss Storm person, I can already tell. <laughs> and then Prabs told us the same thing. He's like, Oh yeah, our friend my friend Taran, you would have a lovely chat with him, yeah. bring him on. I'm like, okay, for sure. <laughs> but what do you put that down to? I think you what you described, like you, you know, working your own business, you know, being in the industry, speaking to people, I think that would help you a lot more. Yeah. If you stay just worked, went to university, did a corporate job, you wouldn't get this life experience that you have now. Yeah. It- what you said is completely correct. Like life experience. I'm only 24 years old. I don't have much experience yeah, yet, yeah. but like I've done a few things that gave me some experience that gave me a way of thinking. It's like, all right. That sounds mysterious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? The reason why I say this, like when you were corporate, people that are like you interact with, yeah. you're, you're meeting like a representative of them. Yeah. Because they have to, uh, you know, like act by the rules of the HR and this, that, the other. Yeah. So you're not meeting them what they actually are. Because yeah. they're like, if I present myself as I am in my family life or in my real life, yeah. there will be so many legal issues and HR issues. So you'll always meet them like the full all, all, all the way nice and whatever. And uh, sometimes you go out to like events with them, they get a little bit drunk. That's when the real, real, of the real person comes out. So when you work like your own business and stuff, you're ma- meeting the person w- what they are because you're doing a deal with them. Yeah, and when you're doing a deal with a person, if they are very like stingy, you'll find out straight away. If they're very loose, you'll find out straight away. So I think what the, the type of work that you do, the type of life you live, is far more beneficial, I feel that way. And also, um, 100%, but just to add on that, man, like if you work in corporate, you're just meeting corporate people. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like You're not meeting real people. That's what I'm trying yeah. to say. You should like, you should go meet new people. Like today, I was a bit nervous to come here. I'm like, I told my cousin, problem. Like, come with me. He's like, bro, I can't come. <laughs> were you <laughs> scared we were gonna jump you or something? No, 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 no. <laughs> nervous as in like I'm gonna go by myself. But I'm like, it's cool, man. Like yeah. I'll meet new people. It'll be fun. And I, if anything, I'll get a new experience out of it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And that will like be a part of me. You know what I mean? Now, from now on, I can say I've done a podcast, man. I'm that yeah. interested. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, no. But like what I'm trying to say is like you need to gather experiences in your life to know what you mean. If you just go straight up, bro, you're putting your hand up to go to the toilet and the next day you're deciding if you want to become an engineer or a <laughs> that's You know funny. what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's it. Though. Yeah, that's, that's so it, bro. Yeah. So like with my kids, like hopefully w- when I have kids, I would want like even I told my brother this like, do the best you can do in school. Knowledge is, knowledge, you need to have knowledge, yeah? yeah? You need to have knowledge. But like everyone goes, knowledge is power, knowledge is power. Knowledge is not power. Applying your knowledge is power. There's no point of reading a whole book if you're not gonna apply it. But if you read yeah, one- bro. That's page deep, that, bro. Yeah, but if you read like one page <laughs> of that book every day and you just understand that one page and apply it to your life, you'll be tenfold better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, it's like, um, the, and depends on the type of knowledge. Certain people just value the wrong knowledge. They value the knowledge like, oh, what will give me a social status? What me, what would make me look good in front of people? And that's the r- wrong type of knowledge to like gain. If you want to gain knowledge that like, you can improve the world, you can improve your family life, that, I that kind of thing. I think it comes from a subservient mentality of being, uh, I think Indians can also relate on this, but uh, all of her kids want, like in Pakistan specifically, people want to be doctors. People want to be engineers, but no one wants to be the one that makes stuff. Like no one wants to, cr- like let's say, uh, yeah, I, I want, want to be a title. doctor, but I don't want right. to be the one that makes the doctoring um, equipment, the machinery. That's where the money lies. Doctor oh. can only be one doctor. Oh, so you won't get innovation like Bill Gates. Th- you'll never see a Bill Gates come out of Pakistan. India, you will get that because India is pumping money into like innovating our own things. That's why you see the CEOs of like, you know, Google and whatever. They're, they're Indians now because they know that these guys have the knowledge and they can apply it. In India, there's probably a Messi. <laughs> so many there's a billion yeah, people. There has he's, to be. He's probably playing cricket. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're in the wrong sport, yeah. boy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, you're not going to play, you, you, if you got a guy who's seven foot, you're not going to put him in like being a jockey. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> then you're going to make a jockey play basketball. Yeah. So you know what I mean? Like everyone's given a natural skill set and your skill set is heavily... Um, so even if like somebody's like, bro, I got no skills, your experiences are your skill set. Yeah. You know what I mean? You've got experiences that not everyone's had. Like I don't have experiences you've had and you don't have experiences I've had. You know what I mean? And you need to nurture those experiences and that skill set and build upon from there because you want to just be the best in being you. And then like when you do that, man, like 
selling or anything it will become it will come natural to you yeah things like that yeah like if i was just putting on it like today i came in like i was like what should i wear <laughs> i wore what i wear every day man yeah. you know what i mean yeah i'm like i'm not gonna wear like jeans and i'm gonna be myself yeah, yeah. and i'm gonna be comfortable like you know what i mean like yeah. that's how it is i'm not saying like you like if there's a party that you need to wear like a tuxedo to go in tracksuit. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I do that, bro. I do that a lot. I get back down for it as well. But like, do you know what, do yeah. you get what yeah, I'm yeah, trying I to say? You. Yeah, I want to, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. But no, no, yeah. no, no, no. It makes sense. It makes yeah. a lot of sense. Like be like, yeah, if you're like trying to be f fake someone else, yeah. it's never going to work out I for you. I tried it. Yeah. I, I tried it, man. In business, when you first get in, you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to be like this. I'm going to wear this. Oh, I'm going to talk like this. I yeah. changed the way of talking. You got an Aussie and accent situation going yeah. just now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, um, what? but then, I was just caught up in my lies. Yeah. It's like one time uh, I remember I was talking to the guy on the phone and then like he was talking about his kids or something. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I coach a kid's soccer team as well. But then he thought I had kids, yeah? Yeah. And then I just never corrected him. Now he <laughs> talks to me. Like, then he would, and then I had to, like, took me two years to tell him I don't have kids, man. Like, uh, like know, how come I never see your kids, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like, um, so that's what I'm trying to say. But like at the start, oh, sorry, I'm going off another tangent. No, no, bro, we love tangents. Go but, on tangents. Like at the start, when I started my business, like I would go and people would be like, oh yeah, so we want to order this much product. How many trucks do you have? I had one truck. I'd be like, bro, I have five trucks. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. I would lie. I lied to get the work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I think that was sort of needed, but I can't explain it. Like, I think you have to fake yeah, it to an extent. I, you have to fake it to an extent. Like I, if I didn't tell him I had five trucks, he would not have given me the job. Yeah. yeah. I worked like I had five trucks. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. we work. We, as we, long as you're con yeah. convinced, like you have five trucks, even though if you have one, it's fine. Yeah. But this is what people do with their resumes. Like yeah. they embellish so much. Like it's not going to be what it's presented to the be. The issue is yeah. if you're incongruent and you don't believe you have five trucks and you lack like you don't have yeah. one. Yeah. And then like. So you can lie to an extent. No, a hundred percent. And then when we got five trucks, I try to get bigger work. And then like, how many trucks do you have? I'm like, I have eight trucks. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And then like, um, now we got eight trucks. So now like. Hopefully we're gonna go do other things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's the thing. Or did you want to say? I anything? was gonna say like on the resume thing. I spoke to someone who's like, um, she's quite youngish, and she was like, oh, you know, on my resume, I said she was a software engineer or mechatronics or some shit, and she's like, oh, yeah, I, I said on my resume I knew R, like R, the language. Yeah. And then and then she's like, but my work gave me a project last week um, that like relies on R and yeah. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. But the thing <laughs> is, like, it, once you're trying to get foot into like yeah. a job. You can put whatever skills down, yeah. Because it's not gonna take you like three years to learn these, yeah. learn these things. Like all these languages and whatever, you can pick up pretty quick. Yeah, hundred percent. So you can pick up editing if you want to try. <laughs> <laughs> you can pick it up pretty quickly. So I was talking to a friend of mine, and we, like you know, when you meet a new person, you initially you talk about like your passions and hobbies and stuff. Yeah. I named a book. It was a very famous book. So everyone had it on the trains. I forgot its name now. The Bible. No, it's not the Bible. It's like it's, it's got Potter. a red and white color to it. Uh, yeah, red and white. Forty laws of power, or something, or something like that. Yeah. It was like a very oh, generic book. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it wasn't that, Did but like, it's, it's by Yuval Noah Harari. Oh, sap sap sapiens, sapiens. Yeah. Sapiens, yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. I was talking to this person, and I was like, you know, I'm into books and stuff, which I'm not really at all. <laughs> and I said, I'm reading Sapiens right now. Yeah. So they bought the Sapiens book. Yeah. So now we started this conversation on Sapiens tangent. And I have no idea, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to be honest. That's not faking it. That's like. I don't know why that's that was just bullshit. No, look, you can fake it, but then you got to do the work. You yeah. got to back it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. For me, this whole conversation was not worth me actually reading through. So I read like YouTube commentaries. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, 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 obviously, like faking it doesn't work. And like, if you're a sports athlete, like you can't just yeah, say, huh. oh yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'm able to like hit three sixes in a row, whatever. And then if you go out there, you can't barely hit like a shot. So no. it's not going to work it everywhere. Look, say it. But then, like, back up what back you it say. Up. Yeah. Stick to your yeah. word. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, if you say you're doing something, stick to your word. It will make you a more confident yeah, person. You gotta well. like, Are you into like manifestation? <laughs> Bro, this is a very deep topic yeah. that you're gonna say. I'm not white girl manifestation. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> What's white girl manifestation? It's like, yeah, I'm gonna think about this is gonna happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not like that. Like, w weren't you like that for a bit? Bro, he was like that. <laughs> yeah, he was like that. Or if I just start saying or thinking these things, Honestly, this is gonna happen. Okay, is missing hunky dory or missing bullshit? But in 20, uh, 2020, uh, first month into my job, I wrote down. And you know, Google Google has this website called Keep Google Google Sheets. Google Sheets, yeah. Uh, I wrote down uh, my current company. When I'm 28, I'm gonna work there. When I'm 30, I'm gonna transfer to the US part of the same company. I'm 26 and I go to the same job without applying. I didn't have to apply. I didn't have to 
lift my finger to get this job. Hunky dory, bro. They may call it hunky dory, but like I I got this job writing it down in 2020 January. So you didn't of, apply for the job. I didn't apply. The recruiter re- reached out to me three months ago. Yeah. And I just got in with with only one interview, and they offered what, me. Sorry, what? So, sorry to cut you off. Um, what did you study? Construction management. Construction management, and um, did you do well in your class? Uh, not at all. Like I just I think two years were due, due to COVID. I I passed with good marks. Yeah, so you you passed with good marks. Yep, you yeah. could say so. But so were you in the top T? No, I wouldn't say. No. All right. Um, did GPA five out of seven. I had a decent experience. You had good experience. I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but. It wasn't anything crazy, and uh, the a company applied for. Uh, I got in. I've applied previously two, three times. They've always said no. Yeah, like without any consideration. So you've applied for them before. Previously, yeah. So you've applied for them before. As a graduate, as a student. Yeah. No, so you were on their network. You could say, but I got reached out through LinkedIn. So this is completely different. Okay. Taran is going somewhere that you <laughs> no. put in the effort. Like no, it wasn't no, no, like no, out so of the, the blue. Thing is, I applied through their actual website. This time no, no, it was no. a recruiter. Those restart. little things don't matter. What he's trying to say, I think, is like you still were working. You were still studying. It wasn't like you were just sitting at home. Sorry, can I? No, yeah, no, yeah. Because writing down, I believe in that. Do that. Write it down. If you don't write it down, you don't have a clear vision. Write it down, man. Have that paper. Read it. You know what I mean? You have a vision. Now you know what you want to do. See, there is some more stuff in the same r- r- written stuff. Like I want to get married to X, Y, Z. She already got, she got married two, three months <laughs> after. <laughs> So not everything worked oh, out. Let me, let so, me figure out this is. So this is Jan 2020. I wanted to get married someone, yada, yada. We were talking for a while. And three months later, she tells me she's about to get married. And I was like, congratulations. And like, internally, I was like, shit. But, but what, you weren't doing anything to pursue that relationship at see, the same time. I don't want to get rejected. So I didn't do anything actively. But like, you were sort of, sort see, of talking and see, stuff. My point. Yeah. See, I, I believe in what Terrence says. Because if you, if you like write it down... And then you actively are reminded this is what you want to do, and then you work towards whatever you need to do to get to that point. Like when I was, and I've, I think I've mentioned this before, when I was uh, what 2019 or something, I learned how to backflip, and I like I also learned how to ride, ride a motorbike on my license and everything. And it was sort of just a like realization, like you know, I'm athletic enough to learn how to flip. There's nothing stopping me from getting a motorbike. But all this time I've been thinking, like, it, wouldn't it be cool to ride a motorbike and stuff like that? But in reality, all I had to do was actually go and do it. Like, there's nothing stopping me from learning how to backflip. There was nothing stopping me from riding a motorbike. But it took me so long to do either of those things because for some reason it felt out of touch. Or it felt like maybe it wasn't me or something. Yeah. Like, man, what, what you're saying... Sorry, I put the mic closer. Yeah. yeah. What Just he's saying, I agree with. What you're saying with, I agree with, like, to an extent. But, like, as, you, as he said... You have to put in the work, man. Like, life doesn't work unless you do. You had a vision, yeah? Like, you want to be in this job. So you went and got a construction management degree. You went and got experience in that field. You know what I mean? Then you got a bit of luck. I'm not saying that luck can be, like, the mystical power, whatever it is. Yeah, you know what I mean? It worked out. But you did, you took actions. You know what I mean? You studied. Not not actively for this particular job. Yeah, maybe not act. Bro, no, you're not you getting the foundation is what he said. Yeah. What All right, let's say you studied software development or you became in, like a plumber. Are you getting that job? If I wrote it down, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this guy works different, bro. <laughs> <laughs> are you still on this manifestation stuff? Bro, uh, like, what do you mean? On like, this? are you still like, oh, right th- that worked for me back then is going to work for I me now. I think this is way of life, bro. Like, yeah. okay. can, can I, like, can I? So, like, this is, so some people might not agree with what I'm about to say. Like, this might be a bit controversial. Like, I believe I don't manifest anything. Like, I believe God has given me the ideas. God has given me the goals. God has given me the vision, yeah? <laughs> then he's given me the tools to um, implement that vision, implement those goals, implement those ideas. And I feel like as you build your relationship with God or a spiritual present, it doesn't have to be God. It might be the universe, whatever you want to believe in. I feel like as you build your relationship with that and you b- strongly believe like you have the power to do anything because yep. it's been given to you. Any idea I have anything like, doesn't matter how bigger it is. You know what I mean? If I yep. can think it, it can be achieved. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you're coming to the same conclusion with a uh, God added to it. Yeah. So I, you, I believe you, in God you believe every blessing you receive is through yeah, God. hundred percent. So, but, what I'm trying to say is, bro, God ain't like God. I have to take the actions. You know what I mean? Like I can sit here. I cannot move all day. Yeah. I can sit here. Let's say I don't move for 10 years. Oh yes. I'm going to make $1 trillion. What's going to happen if I don't move from here? Nothing. 
Even if you write it no, down no, on no, Google no, Logs. According to Sun, bro, one trillion dollars is going to fall <laughs> from this ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you make actions, do you reckon every people that don't manifest that don't make actions? Sorry, could you repeat As in, the like, question? people... So d- anyone that's not getting one trillion, are they not making sufficient actions? Yeah. Like, this guy that has McLaren right now, he, he like, why is he? De- why does he deserve that? It, does God him love him more? No, God doesn't love him more, man. What I'm trying to say, this is a very controversial topic. No, it's not controversial, bro. No, like for some people, maybe your listeners, you know what I mean? Not as as long as it's not controversial for us, we yeah. go with whatever, bro. Yeah. All right. Um, God doesn't love anyone more or less, I believe. But the thing is, there's evil in this world, yeah? Did God make that person evil? I think it's a perception. Like no one in their mind thinks they're evil, bro. Yeah. Like my dad's side of family, uh, as much as <laughs> I don't like them, in their mind, they may think they're right. <laughs> They may think we are wrong. So everyone had, like, evil is relative. Yeah, I agree. Good and bad is relative. But what I was going to say is, to you, there is bad in this world. Yes? Kind of, but not entirely. Oh, so you think people bombing Afghanistan is not bad? See, there's always a rational, there's always a story. I understand what you're going to say. They're doing it for their purpose, yeah? They think they're good. More entirely, they, they have their own version of whatever they believe. Yeah. And, like, it always comes from, there's nothing out so of that. So do you believe that's good? I don't believe that's so good. So you think it's bad? <laughs> How hard was that to say, bro? <laughs> what? Don't second guess yourself. Like, just it, it, okay. So there are certain that's things that happen wrong question. in the world. Like, okay, if someone abuses a kid, bro, you believe months, that, bro. <laughs> you, 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 when someone abuses a kid, that uh-huh. you know that's wrong. It's not like, oh, there's a purpose behind bro, abusing you, a kid. You can't get uh-huh. anything logical out of him. Yeah. I'll give you a warning now. <laughs> yeah, so it's very hard to no, convince. No, I, I nah, so the thing is, I believe everyone's decent in certain way or form. Like, there's not everyone. Like, there's something nice about every person. Yeah. What was nice about Jeffrey Epstein, bro? He must might have been a good talker or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who knows, bro? Oh, I'm not saying I don't know him. Nice? Every I don't know everything about him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. You're not trying to make a decision or on someone you don't know. Yeah. But all I'm saying is, you looking from the outside. If that was your kid, would you be happy? Not really. So you would be. You would probably be angry. You'd be like, "This is an evil man." Yeah. For but sure. Did God make that man evil? Or did that man decide to become evil on his own? You know what I mean? Yeah. The, the experiences that he took in his life. You know what I mean? Or the decisions he the, made in his life. The decisions that he made in his life. The greed. You know what I mean? We took... The last okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm assuming you're religious because you're talking about God and stuff. Um, Sorry to cut you off. Yeah. Again. <laughs> bro, can I just Don't be say, sorry, bro. Can I yeah. just say you have the hardest exterior and you look so intimidating, but like the whole time you'd be like, sorry to cut you off, sorry to cut you off, sorry to cut you off. <laughs> no, um what I'm trying to say is religion um is man made. Yeah. Yeah. Um I'm born into a Sikh family. I do not practice Sikhism. I would say I'm a Sikh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I know like because I'm born into the family, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Um, that is your identity yeah, yeah. I went to a Catholic school I have Muslim friends I have You know what I mean Like I know About India And about What religion can do In countries For polit- politics Yep yeah. for In Lebanon What it can do for politics And I would say I'm Like if I was to say anything I would say I'm a man of God I'm not a man of religion. Like a yeah. man of religion. Like not yeah. an organized like religion. Re- yeah. I strongly believe religion is very good if used correctly. Like community. Community is everything, yeah. man. Like going to the mosque is very good. Going to the Gurdwara is very good. Yeah. Going to the church is very good. Doing good things, doing good deeds, giving to charity is very good. By use sorry, I know you want to say something. Yeah. By using but using men using religion to fight other men is not good. Spiritual enrichment. Um I strongly believe buy this in our life and I think this is something if you want to live a successful life that you should be spiritually in tuned and when I think about it like walking is a very good thing by the way when you go on walks you can think yeah. and I think walking without earphones is very necessary try be in tune with nature yeah. um, so hear the I, sounds of the birds I or think, whatever I think even <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just your thoughts yes. yeah. Yeah. hear the frequency man but anyway <laughs> <laughs> some white girl shit <laughs> But um, <laughs> so when I like think and like obviously yeah, one thing to, I need to correct before white girls and white people are not really spiritual, bro. It's an Indian thing. I would say if you say it, it's fine, 
No, the, it's more like the hit, like the white yeah the modern white girls yeah. are like oh yeah but like they just copy stuff of YouTube and exactly. Instagram like they don't most hardest thing is to just to have your own thoughts um, and like mo- where are the most mystical people from what country yeah, what like origin China or India Asia, 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 Asia exactly like it's Eastern, not a, it's the Eastern furthest Eastern thing from white yeah. people but bro. what I'm trying to say the white girl thing is it's like like bro they hunky dory yeah but <laughs> sure. look no 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 but look let me tell you again they're trying to benefit their life yeah so why why don't why shouldn't we give them spirituality? Yeah, it's not for us to like hold yeah, on. No, to like, I mean, yeah. I'm not, yeah. bro. I'm just being yeah. funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full. I'm full. I'm sorry, bro. No, it's fine. It's all good. But yeah, the thing is, like, uh, they're trying to find purpose in life. Okay, so the like the idea that is given to majority of the world, it's like the culture that's presented to the world is like the pursuit of happiness. They say yeah. like, oh, that's the number one thing you need to pursue. Yeah. And I think most religious people or spiritual people, they veer away from that and say like oh you can pursue happiness to the nth degree but you're not gonna find it or uh, that's not the real meaning of life to live you, what the real meaning of life is tr- trying to find the purpose live by the truth that you believe in and stuff like that so um that's what people say like you uh, pursuit of happiness is like the very basic level of pursuit that everyone needs to have in life and then if you just keep endlessly pursuing that you're not going to end up anywhere that's fulfilling to you so your pursuits must be higher than that. And the highest one that can be is like finding the purpose of life. That's why people end up in like, you know, spiritual things. People end up in like fi- trying to find religion. Um, so yeah, w- most of us, like the rest of us are like, we b- grew up Muslim. So we um, either through family or whatever, like that's what's being passed down to us. Like with you, it's like uh, the practices of uh, being a sick person or Sikhism. Uh, for us, it's like being Muslim. Personally, for me, like I went through a stage where I was irreligious, like I didn't believe in uh, a religion for three, four, five years. And I didn't like really share that with my friends or family. I just kept that to myself. But then over time, like when I started to pursue it and then I went down the path of religion, I explored like all sorts of religions and I ended up, you know, coming back to Islam in a way. Even though when I was young, I didn't really believe in the practices. But then it was that pursuit of like finding purpose that led me to where I am. And I feel a lot of people don't do that now. They just like pursuit of happiness. We just like want to get that next dopamine hit and that's their life for the rest of their life. Can I add this? Yeah. Is a, poor, a poor person wants to make money. Not a rich person doesn't want, like, all right. A rich person usually becomes content. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. if, he is, if he's all right, yeah. Head in all the right. head, yeah. Just like a lost soul will try to find purpose. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. If you're already given it, if you're given it, you won't search for it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? If your stomach is full, you don't want to eat. Yep. Do you understand what I'm trying yep. to go yeah. with that? And that's why I think a lot of people, a lot of people first do not believe in it. And it's probably a like, you know what I mean? You don't want it forced upon you. You yeah. know what I mean? You want to go find it yourself. And if you find it yourself, you're more inclined to stick with it. Yeah. yeah. You know I what think mean? most people aren't this rational though. Because I have first and experiences. I think seeking truth is the hardest thing. Yeah. And so, and having this doubt about it is a uncertainty. Because like, for if religion was straightforward and I could see God, yeah. everything is straightforward, and I would just like, no, nah. close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if, if I can't see it, then it's actual test. Because if if I know that God exists for sure, yeah, then for me, this life is seventy years. I can just be straight up, like you know, pray, it out, pray, do whatever He's commanded me to do. Yeah. But if I can't see Him. And I still have my faith. That's the real test. That's, 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 the differenti- the, that's the differentiation. Like people who don't are not spiritual, or whatever. They don't uh, see life as a test. They see life as like live life to the fullest type of thing. But more religious people, they know that this life is a test, and they believe in an afterlife. That's what's the uh, can, can I, major I, difference. I don't even like honestly. I don't even think about the afterlife like yeah. On, yeah. Uh, like at all. Like <laughs> I'll be honest. I do yeah. not even think about it. Like. My purpose, like, just be a good person here, and let me just tell you this: like, let's say there, let's say there isn't a god, mm-hmm. but like, let's say I go break my leg, yeah, like I walk out of this and I break my leg. To me, I'm gonna think, oh, I broke my leg because it was meant to happen. It's good. It's gonna, I'm gonna make my other leg stronger. Now I can focus on my upper body. You yeah. know what I mean? I'll see the adversity as good. I can become stronger. All right, I can't drive. It will show me the benefit of how beneficial it is to drive a car. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But like, let's say somebody who doesn't see that side they break their leg oh bro i broke my leg i can't do this i can't do that you know what i mean like there's two sides to the coin man yeah but sorry to cut this all off i want to go back to what he said with spirituality i strongly so i believe we live two lives 
You know what I mean? Um, and this, I'm not gonna say. Okay, I, I, gonna I, say I don't know what he means. So <laughs> elaborate, bro. I'm not gonna say the Confucius. Con, what? How do you say his name? Confucius. Con, Confu Confucius. Yeah, Confucius quotes like the other one starts when the first one. <laughs> you yeah. realize the. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna say that quote. I'm gonna say you have the spiritual being and you have the human being, and I believe these two lives are like intertwined, like DNA. So like you look at your veins in. Your oh, speaking to Mike. Sorry. Yeah. So, Oh, okay. If you look at if you look at your veins in your arms, yeah, yeah, you see like the pattern, yeah? yeah, yeah. Then you go look at a tree, you see that pattern. Yeah, you go look at flowers, you see that pattern. Yeah. You you look at electricity, you see that same sort of pattern. Yeah. I only realized this when I was woke up one morning and like I had like I don't know I was a bit like dehydrated, um, and I saw like the veins in my arms and I looked at the tree. I'm like, bro, these look so similar. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then um, then it went down to the atom thing. You know what I mean. And then, like, this is going to sound weird, but bro, we're like 90% banana or something. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? 97% shared DNA with banana. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Like, you know what I mean? And then we have water in us and everything. So it's all intertwined. But then I, be I believe that these two, the purposes of these two lives are just to be a good human, like a good human being yep. and a good spiritual being. L whatever you say logically checks out, but people want to be proven, like, you know, my religion is the best one. Yeah. Or like what? Because it's not because to cause superiority superiority over yourself. Wait, are you but saying your religion is the best one? No, are you no. People, people want to say that because they like for the two parts. It. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think that comes to like uh, you know like patriotism. Like you know my country is better than yours. No, I think like people. Thing is, people want to be convinced themselves to like uh, growing up and especially in Pakistan. If a random person went to. Saudi Arabia or Dubai, whatever, we are really proud. Like you know, he became Muslim. There's a footballer named Kaka. When when I was seven or eight, uh, Kaka went to Qatar for uh, sponsorship or something. It was a big ass news in Pakistan. Kaka converted to Islam. Why should it matter to me if someone converted to Islam? <laughs> Good for him or bad for him? I mean, that's what his life yeah. is. For yeah. for us, we get no. But like th those people are not thinking like logically at all. Like that's like an illogical way to think. Even so in like 2019 cricket World Cup, a yeah. Pakistani or 2020. Champions Trophy, a Pakistani player said, we want to pray in front of Hindus. The, the cricketers, this is a national team cricketers. Yeah. What's the, what do you want to get out of it? Just to get this jagnosism, like this superiority. Yeah, but that's got nothing to do with like uh, it's purpose got, or it's anything. A hina, it's, it's a human psyche thing. Yeah, like you want to be proven ourselves right. Can right. I say something? Um, I only have these thoughts because I was blessed enough to be born in Australia. Exactly, yeah. you know what that's I mean? what I was going to get to. Yeah. Like um, if I was born in Pakistan, I would only see Islam around me. Yeah. So if I only see Islam around me, Islam is the best. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I'm born in a Hindu country, I'm only going to see Hinduism around me. So you're you're going to be bred that that is the best. Yeah, yeah. You know that's what I, mean? what I was going to get to. So, so, for, so for me, I'm not the most religious person in the room. And I don't want to admit this on a podcast. It doesn't come out nicely because I don't know who's going to listen to it in, down the line. Sorry, it's going to get three views, bro. No, yeah. I'm <laughs> no sometimes you get 30, 30 views. Uh, but uh, the, the Buddhist concept of nirvana, I feel like yeah. if when the, the day I'm the, when I'm dying, if I feel content with how I've living, lived, I, I think I'll go to heaven. But if I'm dying and I have a sense of regret, I haven't prayed or I haven't done X, Y, Z. I will go to hell. That's what yeah. I believe in. Like my last the moments will dictate everything I've done. The issue with that is that's very subjective as well. Like you're like in your dying breath, you could have lived twenty years, right? And in that twenty years, you've experienced this and that and this and that, and you might think X is good and Y is bad. But in reality, from an objective or from God's point of view, that may not be good or bad. An example is like you know incest or something, right? Subjectively, like I might think incest is bad because I was raised in a society where incest is bad. Um, everyone around me says incest is bad. Media says incest is bad, right? But in reality, it may not be a bad thing. Like you might be delusionally bad. No, yeah. but, but in your life, in your yeah. dying breath, you're mm -hmm. gonna think, "Oh shit, I had an incestuous relationship. I feel really bad." No, thing is, uh, I think it's maybe it could be one of those things. But if if I, if it's consensual. <laughs> and I, uh, no, I'm, I'm no, not. I'm no, not. I'm here saying debating hey, with no, I'm, I'm, uh, It's a very <laughs> retarded <laughs> argument to be working with, but I'm gonna be. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna work with what I have. If it's consensual and I don't have guilt throughout the whole situation, I may just feel like. No, it's but that's not the truth of life, is it? In a way, like something? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you can jump in whenever. You can just jump in whenever.
in your heart, you you know when you're doing something good and when you know yep. you're doing something yeah. bad. Okay. And I think people point that to like, uh, you know, like uh, pe- certain people say like, where does that Thank innate you, ability? You, you summarize what I want to say. Like, <laughs> where does that intuition <laughs> come to us? <laughs> like, uh, as humans, do we are we just born with it? Does it come through religion to us? What brings that intuition? I think religion is a big part of our intuition. Like all our values, fundamental values. Religion yeah. and God are different. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Just wanted to clarify. No, no. Yeah. That, that the thing, like, I was going to come back to, like, the point you raised earlier about, um, you know, you're able to have these thoughts because you live in Australia. Yeah. Um, you t- started talking about, like, uh, if you were living in Pakistan, you saw only Islam. Obviously, you will believe that to be true. Yeah. Over here, you have diversity. Same thing goes with, like, being just privileged. Like, yeah. if you were, like, I- in a poverty stricken country or you grew up in poverty, yeah. your mind is just going to be fixated on fulfilling your needs to survive. And fulfilling that I I live a secure life, like I'm not being threatened by someone trying to kill me. Yeah, it, because we live privilege, our hierarchy of like needs, we are able to think about self enrichment. We are able to think about like sense of belonging. Yes. If you're living in poverty, all you're thinking about is survival. Survival. Hope is needed. Like you know what I mean. Yeah. If you look, you go to Brazil, look at the favelas. They're yep. all very religious. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. Because you need you need something there. You need to have it. But the thing is in it's very good, yeah, but there's a difference between being spiritual and being a believe a follower of a religion. Yeah, yeah, it's you know more I mean? it's more like a cult that they yeah, follow. In yeah. India, um, they use religion like just to control people. You know what yep, I mean? Exactly. It's like give them a purpose, make them believe something, give them community. This is literally how wars are started. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, but then again, I'm not here to talk about religion. Yeah, I'm not here to talk about like um. Like the yeah, fa- yeah. like uh, the. I'm here to talk about spiritual enrichment, and what you're saying is correct, because uh, so because I've uh, now this goes into wealth. See how it's gonna tie in because I've made because I am wealthy enough. My smaller problems in my life, such as bills, such as uh, like not having money problems, such as I can sort of pave away from that, and now I can think about the bigger spec of life. Yeah, I think. It, as everyone gets older, everybody sort of starts to become a philosopher. You know what I mean? In their own yeah, sense. Yeah. They start they start asking the bigger questions. What is the meaning of life? Why am I here? Why am yeah. I doing this? And then, but to get to that level, if you're just stuck in a scarcity mindset, you can, it's very, very difficult to get there. But let's say that's why, so there's two ways to get there. Either give up everything, become Buddhist, become a monk, and then you don't have to worry about money. Yeah. Or start making money, which is the Western way. And I think this is the way that people should do it. Um, if they don't want to become a monk, yeah? yeah. Um, start making money, get to the level where your problem, your money problems are solved, where you can go out with your friends and pay the bill without having to look at your bank account. Yep. And then you will start asking the bigger questions. It will naturally happen. It's just a way of life. You know what I mean? And then wealth will lead to freedom. You know what I mean? And freedom is when you start asking these bigger questions, when you start going for walks, when you start doing these things, when you start being happy with your family and your friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you guys want to add anything to that, like... Yep. No, 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 I agree. Like, but uh, you don't need to be wealthy to uh, get to the mindset because wealth is... what I just said. No, <laughs> but no, but no. You, do need, you do need it. Wealthy no. not in terms of like what you're thinking might be wealthy is like oh, not being a millionaire. Money, it's yeah. not that. It's just like having enough to have a good enough life to so have a house. So my parents want me to move. I uh, moved out and we don't do that in our culture. So my parents w- uh, want me to move back in with them. Yeah. And they say like, you know, we're going to get a bigger room, bigger house, whatever. Yes. But it, nothing's going to be bigger than my imagination. If I'm living in a castle in my mind when I'm sleeping, there's nothing bigger than that. No, no, no. You, well, but I so think he's not, talking about, he's not talking about wealth in terms of like us living in Australia. We are wealthy already. What he's talking about is like compared to like people in a poverty country, they don't have, they don't have enough money to even live a sustainable life. We're already wealthy. Like L- we're not rich, but we're wealthy uh, enough. Yeah. So let me put it this way. If I, I'm sure you guys are Muslim, you guys do fasting. Yeah. yeah. When you fast, some days you're just like, man, I can't wait to eat. All you can think about is food. Yeah. How am I going to get this next meal? Yeah. I can't wait to eat. Now, when you get, I'm sure there's a purpose for fasting. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's a, that's a very big purpose in it. It shows you what it's like not to, to be hungry. You know what I mean? Yeah. What it's like to yeah. be hungry. Yeah. And when you are hungry, the only thing you think about is food. Yeah. So, these people in these countries, but we're here, we're in Australia. I'm born in Western Sydney. I'm born in Sydney. One yeah. of the biggest, best co- like places you can live in the world. Yeah. Yeah. I wake up, I wake up in a bed. I have I have a um, blanket over me. I brush my teeth room. with your own room. Yeah. I brush my teeth with water. I go have hot water shower. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
all of life necessities yeah. are all my doubly yeah, taken yeah, care I've of. I've got yeah. everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. I go to work in a car, get to choose what car to drive. You know what I mean? Like, it's <laughs> mad. Voices like, are yeah, man. yeah, crazy, bro. Yeah. yeah. So this is insane. Like, uh, already I'm in the top T. Yeah. You know what I mean? But now in a str- you can have problems from there. Yeah. Like I can have like, but let's say I just solve these so- smaller problems. Yeah. Then. I need to make it because the money is the big problem that people, everyone has in this life. Pay your bills. Yeah, hex that, pay this, pay that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But as soon as you, we have a head start, we can get there. But if you have these constant problems, oh, where's my next meal going to come from? Where's this? Your mind is going to be very scarce and limited. And you're not even going to be able to sp- think about spirituality when you're thinking about Next meal. Next yeah, meal. Point yeah. take. Just to like clarify, so I don't think we actually ever touched on it. So you believe strongly, Taryn, in four pillars of life, right? Yes. So health, wealth, sense of self, and enrichment, spiritual. I think family was there too. Yeah. No, family yeah. is one of the branches of branches. life. Health, wealth, yeah. Social self, personal enrichment. Decently, yeah. Personal enrichment. So social self will cover family. Yeah. Okay. Personal enrichment was the spirituality sense. Yeah. Okay. So, so we'll get to like your yeah, social self. Humans now. are very social creatures. Yeah. Very social. It's very. Yeah, you can go, I'm an introvert, I'm this, I'm that. A hundred percent, there's introverts, there's extroverts. I agree. But you still need some social interaction. Yep. Yeah. Why does everybody want a partner? Yeah. You know what I mean? Why does a kid without a father want a father? Yeah. What You know what I mean? We're very social creatures and community is a lot to us and community helps us a lot because we're from tribes. You know what I mean? Yeah. We moved around together. We stayed together. We stayed in packs. Humans are, and only society only changed recently. Like I'm sure you have read the sapiens comments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, like this new way of living is like if you look at human history, it is such a like a if you like look at it in a twenty four hour day, what the part of life that we're living in now is like a millisecond compared to how long humans have been around. And within this millisecond, so much change has happened because of like, you know, the industrial revolution. We've made our life so much easier that that sense of community is starting to become more diluted. Yes, I'm grateful for my family. You know what I mean? My mom, my dad, my brother, my sister. You know what I mean? Yep. My immediate, my cousins, my aunties, my uncles. So this gives me community. I'm grateful to be have such good friends around me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, be very selective of your friends. That's something you should be selfish with. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? If you need to cut people off, cut them off. Yeah. Only keep people around you that are good for you. You know yeah. what I mean? And I don't mean that. <laughs> I don't mean that in a way as in like. Oh, let me leech off them. Yeah. Life is give and take, man. You know what I mean? Just be a good person. Yeah. Just keep good people around you. Be very, very selective with your circle. Yeah. This this one thing can change your whole life. Yeah. All right? Just hang around with good people. Yeah. Like-minded people, you'll be sweet. This one thing can change your whole life. Yeah. Um, and then, like my friends, then I'm grateful to be from Western Sydney. You know what I mean? Like the community there. No, Western like, Sydney, I don't know what he means, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah, I'm grateful to be from Western Sydney. I'm grateful to be born in Australia, an Australian. I'm grateful to be Indian. This is all community. This is all social self. Yeah. Then I'm grateful just to be a human being. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm grateful for this. And then you bring it back down to the small level, like my family, my friends. These are all good interactions. You want to have healthy interactions. You don't want to have toxicity in your life. Yeah. And then if you have good people around you, good community, like sports teams. You know what I mean? Um. Work colleagues, work like colleagues, yeah, good people business, to work with, yeah. Yeah. Then your life, like you're one person in this life. I have to interact with other people for this life to work. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah, life is a single player game. Yeah, it's all in my brain, you know what I mean? But it's much funner playing multiplayer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I yeah. think like uh you know how like we um there's that uh sort of number that exist like it says like you will have this many amount of like close friends this many amount of like acquaintances or whatever um a a lot of my friends that i chat to about this they all do say like with we kind of don't know uh we kind of just take it for granted like oh someone's an acquaintance but we think they're a close friend of ours but then it turns out to be they don't even consider us like a close friend and it's hard i i don't know how people have like big big groups of friends like i'm someone that like i just have like a close knit of friends and I can't see myself expanding that uh, as I go. Like obviously people will come in and out of my life, but I've always had like a small circle around me, but yeah. I find it like uh, fascinating people who say they have like, you know, 50 friends, 60 friends that they consider close friends. And as I don't know how that works. 
as you get older, I feel like naturally your circle starts to come become smaller. Yeah. This is because as you get older, you experience life, and in life there is some bad things that happen as well, yeah. and you'll experience heartbreak, and you'll inc- experience backstabbing, and yeah. you experience all this stuff. Especially if you're in a game like business, you know what I yeah, mean. Yeah. Um, and as you get older, you start. I don't want to use the word judge, but you start understanding things a little bit better because of experiences you have. But it's good to start out with a big circle when you're smaller because you're in school. Everybody in your year is your friend. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Maybe two, three people yeah. on, but still they're your friend yeah, anyways. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're going to see him every day. Yeah. But as you, and then, and then you're in, you finish high school and then you slowly stop seeing some people and then some people just naturally pave away. Yeah. You're like, cool. Then you get older and then some things happen. You break up with your girlfriend and then she goes and then like, and then naturally your circle becomes smaller and then you get to a point where you have your own community your ecosystem this doesn't mean you shouldn't go out and meet new people you should yeah. you should have new interactions if you talk to the same people every day you'll become very limited yeah you know what i mean um like richard Feynman used to try to get new experiences and would go to like strip clubs to do ma- like equations you know yeah. what i mean he was <laughs> don't, don't this has been a goal of his bro <laughs> he's been trying to go it's like well let's do a field trip to a strip club and like experience this together as boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. um, what did he get out of it? Like, did he solve it faster or? No, <laughs> just being in new environments, you know what I mean? I think working your brain differently. corporate makes you not get exposed to that kind of stuff. Yeah, do you, yeah so that's what I was trying to say. Like, co- I think that's very limiting. Like working corporate doesn't make you exposed to that stuff. Working anything can make you only exposed to that. But if you have the mindset, all right, I'm going to work in corporate. I want to do this. If you truly want to do it, do it, man. You make money, do what you want to do. You like to, I know people who love the corporate life and that's a cool life to live. If you want to live it and you're happy living it, live it. Yeah. But um, I quite enjoy it. Like personally, like, yeah. uh, it's good, like yeah. you know what I mean. But it doesn't give you good stories for podcasts. Like I used to work <laughs> at LD, and every day you see have nonsense his, coming his through. His life is just lived by getting good stories for the podcast. Bro. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, yeah. like, we're corporate. Like you, you have experience I don't have. Yeah. I haven't worked corporate. Yeah. I would love to work corporate in my life once. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not in my plans right now, but maybe down the future. Maybe when I'm 35, I want to do something. I'll go into corporate. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Become a consultant yeah. for your industry. Yeah. You know what I mean? Something live a like corporate that. life. Like, yeah. yeah, like, um, but it's about like if you just if you just like if i just know one thing i only know that one thing that's it yeah you're limiting yourself open up go travel like this is why people should travel i haven't traveled but i'm going to travel <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean you want to like because we're we're australia is like we've our parents migrated here we know our home country so you've seen that part of life as well yeah. imagine you hadn't seen that how different you would be yeah mm-hmm. You know what I, mean? I think that that's the biggest thing. Like, um, like uh, my parents are from like Pakistan. I grew up in the Middle East. Then I moved to Australia. Having like sort of some experience of those three cultures yeah. does put me at an advantage when it comes to being empathetic or understanding yeah. about the world's problems. If you're just living in that one country, you only know about that one country, and you're kind of limiting yourself. Uh, if you like don't explore the rest of the world it's a because big road, man. Yeah. Like you only want to see Australia or you only want to see Western Sydney. You only like, you know what I mean? It's a <laughs> massive world. You only want to know one thing in and this life. That's the tricky thing. You know, like uh, there's a statistic which says like, it's like a 70, 80% of people that uh, are like that are born. They die within sort of seven, eight miles of where they were born. Isn't that sad? So like majority of the world isn't, you know, like, traveling and like experiencing like different countries or moving to another country or whatever it's yeah so people they just live in that community they i mean i think part of that is social self right like you have such a good network of friends family whatever it is you don't want to lose that you don't want to leave like why would you leave like i have like grandparents that they they lived in the same (laughs) street for 80 90 years (laughs) i see him eyeing the cop (laughs) bro this guy just keeps driving by bro for some reason (laughs) i think he wants to get jump on the podcast or something (laughs) Uh, but yeah, like that's the that's the thing with life. Yeah, um, we kind of don't haven't had touched on health, but yeah. obviously you're a big man, no. big fit, yeah. and bro. No. Like, what what tips do you have for people like when they want to focus on their health? So with health, I think there's a three parts to this. There's mental health, which I don't think you were expecting me to say. No, no, no. We were talking about it last yeah. week with your friend uh, uh, Mario, Mario, and that's yeah. what we talked about. No, so yeah, yeah. Men- I'm a big like into therapy type dude. So yeah. there's mental health. There's spiritual health <laughs> and there's physical health. Yeah. Yeah. All very linked. So mental health, EQ, IQ, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, if you have good mental health, you can deal with this world. You can 
come up with ideas you can innovate you, if you have good emotional health you can empathize you can understand people you can live this this life will be much easier and better and funner to live yeah, yeah. if you have good spiritual health you would want to do good things you know what i mean the more you with spiritual health what i mean is let's say you just walk one day and you pick up a piece, piece of rubbish and put it in the bin you done one small act you'll feel good you know what i mean yeah then you give something to charity not just money time you know what i mean you'll feel good and you can build upon this health it's like a muscle you know what i mean you want to, as you build it more you want to be more in tune and be more good how many sets how many, <laughs> how many <laughs> sets <laughs> honestly like i think i think of life like i'm a very like um organized person so i I'll, I think of like like yeah, that, you know what yeah. I mean? Like I just do this ten times, and it's, things will happen. Things yeah, will yeah, start changing, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, and then you have the physical health. People, it doesn't have to be gym, soccer, yoga, Pilates, yeah. whatever. But it's all in tune. If you want your brain to help be healthy, your body has to be healthy. Yeah, you yeah. want your spirit yeah, to be healthy, your brain has to be healthy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's all in tune. And it's all linked. And for the mental health, you should meditate. You know what I mean? You should like take time and be with yourself you know yeah. what i mean you should read books you should listen to podcasts you should listen to audiobooks you should mm. do all this and for your spiritual health you should show gratitude you know what i mean you should honestly showing gratitude is a very good thing the more you show gratitude the more better you would want to be the more of a good person you will want to be yeah the way it was like explained to me like say we know if we have like bad food every now and then yeah. like we would feel sick after like if we drink too much alcohol we know we're gonna have that uh yeah you know bender that we go on and then yeah. go crazy we throw up or whatever it's the same with like the information that you put in your head if you're just p constantly putting just toxic information mm. like consuming friends uh, bitching about each other that kind of stuff obviously it's going to have a negative effect on you down the line 100%. so yeah all, all those things so if you treat like what you're consuming the same way you do food yeah if you start consuming bad things around you you start interacting with people who are bad you're gonna get like the negative effects of life. I saw this. You, okay, so I haven't uh, seen this video, but this uh, YouTube comment said, <laughs> "Small minds talk about people; big minds talk about ideas." And I have a very big propensity of talking about people because I'm really funny in certain situations, which is describing Debatable. people, making making like yeah. not describing people, but making fun of them. Mm. Now I want to be uh, <laughs> now I want to be someone that uh, that Makes doesn't do that. Ideas. Like I want to be a bit more <laughs> mature and like I don't want awareness. That's how it begins, man. Just uh, you're aware of it now. Mm. No, That's I have been for a while. Oh. But like, can you explain to him what self awareness is? Acknowledging you have a yeah. problem, bro. Please explain to him what self awareness is. He doesn't know the concept. No, look, um, you're you're aware of this. Yeah, very like I, I realize it's a yeah. problem. It's uh, for me, it's a fun thing. I, I'm not nothing <laughs> malicious. Yeah, no, but of course. I need to cut it down personally. This you is one thing. Acknowledge it's a problem. Look, no, but like it might be fun for you, but at the same time, you probably might having a negative effect on someone else's life. You tell me about it, bro. No, I don't <laughs> care about these things. I'm a very self-aware person. So you can say whatever to me. I don't take it to heart. But I'm your friend at the same time. Yeah. If you do it to a random, no, I don't do it they to will a random. Go, they will be yeah. like, what the hell's wrong with this so guy? It's, it's the same thing. It's just like um, when, like, let's say a problem, adversity happens in your life and people always take the negative route. Like, as I said, like something may happen. It's like you want to constantly think of the positive and the more you do it the more it will happen and you want it to be instantaneous like that you know what i mean you you want to be able to oh today i had a hard day at work or it's going to make me stronger for tomorrow you want to be think like naturally you just want to become like that but it doesn't happen overnight it takes a lot of time every time you got to be mindful of your thoughts because you live in your brain yep. you know what i mean your brain is everything you're with your thoughts you've got thoughts that no one ever will know you know what I mean? You live in your brain and you're with your brain every day. So you want your brain, you want to sort of train it to be like always thinking of the positive. You know what I mean? If you talking about other people is obviously it's not going to make you feel good. You know what I mean? After a while, you're going to like, you know what I mean? You're going to, it's going to naturally it will happen. You know what I mean? But if, when you do it, you pick up on it that you're doing it. Then you do it maybe less next time and then a little bit less. And then you're picking up on it and you're picking up on it over the year, over two years. Again, it doesn't happen instantaneously. You know what I mean? Everything take good things take time. It's, it's just building a routine takes time. Yeah, yeah. everything takes time. Yeah. yeah, it takes time. Yeah. So, but the more you're conscious of it, the more you're aware of it, it will change. And one day it will just be instantaneous. That's how you want to be. You know what I mean? Somebody now, like if I look at my dad, he wakes up at six o'clock every day with an alarm. That just didn't happen overnight, man. Yeah. The man yeah. did it for 50 years. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Even like bad habits that you pick up yeah. are through routine. Like even through if routine. you if you do it too many times, then it becomes habits a habit. Habits is everything. Yeah. Yeah. You, don't, you don't rise to your vision, you fall to your habits. 
mm. bro you was like mm. just <laughs> dropping gems throughout <laughs> the whole podcast bro. <laughs> <laughs> but if somebody watches this podcast and they learn anything like honestly i would just say you've done your job <laughs> i'll be very happy you know what i mean that was yeah. a big thing i wanted to come on here like yeah. my little cousins might watch this yeah. you know what i mean and then or my little brother or something you know what i mean and like it might teach them something but anyways i would say wake up at the same time every day waking up is the biggest problem i have even marcus aurelius had this problem Amen. you know what i mean yeah. um waking up is such a big problem especially for this generation we want to wake up is the bi if i conquer the wake up bro i'm sweet the whole day yeah but i would say um everyone a lot of people have this problem yeah so don't worry you're not on your own yeah. um wake up at the same time every day have a morning routine honestly go for a walk i think a little bit of exercise in the morning is good go for a walk in my morning routine i go for a walk i do um gratitude and then i get a coffee and then i sit down for a bit scroll reddit come home <laughs> take my lunch go to work you know what i mean that's what this thing with like oh sorry you yeah. got i think um i actually agree with that i don't do it myself but um i think i did do it for a period i think um making sure that you aren't waking up and the first thing you're doing is getting ready and going to work because no, that's definitely. making work or like something you may not be looking forward to the yeah. first part of your day yeah no definitely. it's better to make work a part of your day rather than make your whole day work. Yeah. about work yeah, yeah. Yes. that's why like people say like rather than going to a cafe picking up like go make your own breakfast so that's the first thing you do or yeah. go for a walk that's the first thing you do like, or, like read a book in the morning or yeah. something like or if that. you yeah. have a pet spend time with them or whatever yeah. Yeah. they made fun of jordan peterson for that you know i used to like there was that thing he would say like oh as a man you should wake up make your bed every day yeah make like, your make bed habit every day yeah. Yeah. honestly boys and make the people were like, what every the, day what the hell's wrong with this guy why is he recommending yeah. this is like this is what creates like incels and stuff like that but i agree how with does this. that create incels like, making your bed? <laughs> people, bro, the just, worst like, about crazy i think this stuff. is about making it up no, 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 no. You, I, i send you the link bro this is what people used to say they uh, used to make fun of jordan peterson for yeah. that that's the thing I do with like uh, we were talking about Ramadan earlier like Ramadan gives us time like because we're hungry we kind of suppress all our needs that we have yeah. like we're trying to purposely suppress it it somehow makes it easier for us to like pick up new habits and yeah. each Ramadan that's what I try to do personally set a goal for myself that I'm going to pick up a new habit I'm going to have 30 days of Ramadan yeah. and make it a routine out of it in those 30 days yeah. so yeah that's something I'll recommend people like if you have like a month like that in your head like or oh, each year i'm gonna pick a month and then try to build a habit out of yeah. it is it, it works out perfectly yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. and 100 percent. and like honestly like reading books and stuff i think everyone should be doing this as well like this is one habit i strongly recommend to everyone like build but before you build habits you gotta break habits as well you know what i mean learn be self-aware enough to <laughs> um what do you call it break your bad habits yeah. i've got bad habits you know what i mean like that I'm still trying to break, but it takes time. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, it's not going to happen overnight. It takes time, and the more you understand this, I think business helped me to understand this a lot. Like, you don't make money overnight. Yeah, it takes years, man. Yeah, like something may pay off. A gym helps you. This is why a lot of gym people become influencers and like become really good businessmen. It takes a long and time. Yeah, it takes a long time for your body to change. It's not going to happen overnight. I think this is a good point to end the conversation because I don't want to make it too long because yeah. then people might How long is zone it? out. This oh, has been an hour, hour 20. 20 minute, bro. Oh, this okay. has been one of my <laughs> longest ones. You Probably know, the longest one, definitely. You know, uh, his brother's was uh, quite long as well, but do, yeah. Do you know, like, uh, that was me summarizing, like, very fastly, <laughs> like... Bro, it, we kind of, like, yeah. restrict with time. Yeah. The thing is, like... Uh, no, no, I'm trying to say that's yeah. good. Like, I'm just trying to say that, like... Yeah. Um, we love having these conversations so we're always happy to have you come back on so it's not don't don't think like oh you're not gonna i, like, I don't know what you're not <laughs> but, but yes yeah. uh, so we said the same bro, thing it, to it, prabs we said the same thing to, to mario he, does, he doesn't want to have to deal with sun again like, okay no worries, bro. <laughs> i was very controlled i listened to him <laughs> most of the time he didn't but bring yeah. up lady boys that's a plus. yeah that's a plus bro that's a plus that's always a born plus. in pakistan yeah we're karachi karachi yeah yeah how, anyway how did you know <laughs> he just has that on his face bro. it looks like karachi yet bro yeah. sure anyway thank you taran for being on it was uh, lovely so chatting to you thank bro. you for having me. i think a lot of gems are being presented in this episode anyone could like switch on to any minute and find something insightful to listen to so yeah, yeah. thank you for coming on thank and we're gonna thank Pratt for hooking us up with taran bro like yeah. because oh, yeah. um, so uh, perhaps you, not recommended we wouldn't i would just want to say a shout out to pause liquor <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, no if you guys <laughs> ever want i know this is uh, islam channel <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. perhaps said he has like non-alcoholic oh stuff, yeah, so they, yeah they got non-alcoholics as well so shout out to those boys and um shout out to star from industries if you 
need waffle pods and steel and systems. No problem, bro. <laughs> if you need re- um, reinforcing steel. Do you have a link, bro? Material. Send it through. I'll put, might put it up in yeah, the video. Yeah, I've got to plug it. Like, just uh, a selfless <laughs> plug. Eh? No worries, no worries. <laughs> Thank you for th- for being on. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. It's one of, It's been another episode of the Trash Talk Experience. You can check us out on YouTube, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. Follow us on our Instagram and TikTok. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace.